Republic Act 8172 or the Act of Salt Iodization Nationwide, also known as ASINLO, mandates all salt production in the country to process iodization to avoid the surge of micronutrient malnutrition or iodine deficiency. But Senate Committee on Agriculture Chairperson Cynthia Villar expressed on Wednesday, January 18, to amend the said law as most of its demand goes to fertilizer rather than food consumption. Gumawa na lang ang Department of Health ng program para stop yung ano, deficiency. Oo, ayun. That's the problem of the Department of Health. But it's killing the salt industry. Hindi, hindi madali kasi yung iodization. Senator Villar added that local production prohibits to seek investor and iodization process needs a lot of money for farmer sector. According to Nazario Breguera, the Chief Information Officer of the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources of the Department of Agriculture, the agency have no comprehensive data on salt production throughout the years except for private sector. The years, nakita natin yung pag-decline ng uh, production ng, uh, uh, ng uh, asin uh, sa ating uh, bansa. But we would like also to clarify na isa ito sa mga gap na gusto nang uh, gusto din tugunan ng pamahalaan ano kasi wala pa talagang comprehensibong uh, datos sa uh, patungkol sa production ng asin. He added that the asin amendment needs to undergo more legislative process and to pay more attention on farmer sector. Kami sa DAB far ay na naniniwala na kailangan ng bigyan nga itong tuon ang uh, pag-aamenda ng uh, asinlo at in fact uh, may mga naiulat na sa atin na may ginagawa ng isang legislative process uh, patungkol po sa muling pagbubuhay at pagpapasikla ng industriya nito. Meanwhile, the Department of Health or DOH states that the possible removal of salt iodization in the country can cause case increase in iodine deficiency like goiter. The agency then shows how the salt iodization in the country address iodine deficiency and the majority of the population in different age groups. Bernadette Tino, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people, we give glory to God.